As food banks across Colorado report rising need in our community, one in Aurora is unable to help because it can't find space to operate. As Rob Harris shares, Food Connect Colorado has been trying to open up a new location, but is finding other businesses don't want a food pantry next door. So here's everything we had in our market when we were open back in the spring. For about eight months now, the shelves, carts, and refrigerators of Food Connect Colorado have been sitting in storage. You know, we closed up and put everything in here, and I thought, oh, you know, it'll just be a few months, and I'll find a new location. And I've been looking ever since, and I've not been able to find a place. Food Connect Colorado was a functioning shop, like a grocery store in basically all ways but one. It was a food pantry serving people in the Aurora area in need. But when rent dramatically increased on their space, Food Connect Colorado had to move out. President Elizabeth Watts has expressed interest in many new locations since, but none have worked out. Everything's fine until they say, oh, what's your business? And I say, oh, we're a food pantry. And immediately I get something like, oh, well, we don't want that kind of business in our in our complex or in our shopping center. I try and tell them, you know, it's not like you think that, you know, it's not homeless people and drug addicts that are coming to food pantries. It's families. It's uh, people that are elderly or disabled. It's people that have large families. That's who comes to food pantries. This comes at a time that Food Connect Colorado and other food banks report rising need in the community. The Feeding America organization reports that 1 in 12 people in Colorado are facing hunger. The number is even higher for children, with 1 in 9 facing hunger. Watt says Food Connect Colorado filled an important void for the Aurora area. It was a food source that allowed people to choose the food items best for their family, and it was open for several hours each day. I want the community to know that, you know, people who come to food pantries, probably one of your neighbors has come to my food pantry and you may not know it because they probably haven't said anything. It helps these people a lot. It helps make the difference between being able to make the rent or buy their medicine. For Denver 7, it's helping working people in your community. I'm Rob Harris. And if you are looking for a way to help others this holiday season, you could still donate to Holiday Helpings when you are checking out at the Safeway store or from the warmth of your own home. Just go to denver7.com community.